Okay, all right, here we go. Here we go, Half-Life. Oh, Jesus, I know this is what you want. All right, so clearly, I, cannot, I mean, I can see exactly what I'm gonna have to do here. These are big grinders that are, for some reason, offset, uh, just so that I can jump between them, um, if I can jump between them. Again, again, like very nicely done with the platforming challenges that look harder than they really are. The fact that, um, I don't want to go back there, but there, the, um, there were very, very small guardrails on the edges of the conveyor belt that made it a lot harder to overshoot. Um, made that like so much easier than it could have been which is wonderful. Like, I, I love that experience. I love the experience of the anticipation um, of, uh, you know, this is gonna be really insanely difficult. Um, and then having it not be insanely difficult is, is kind of such a relief. I like that experience. So, good on you, Half-Life. Way to go. Uh, Wow, that sure looks like a death trap, right? Uh, is there a way for me to... Oh, look, I can see... Oh, and the, there was a head crab that fell down there. Can I go enough backwards down here? Is it worth doing? I can't. No, so I can, I can sort of stay where I am. Uh, and in fact, I can glitch right here on the wall. Um, alright. So I'm, I believe this is a timing puzzle. Where if I go at the right time and quickly enough, I will fall down rather than get crushed. Oh, also I can, I guess, just walk over here. Uh, that makes it much easier if I don't have to use the conveyor belt. Major fracture detected. I'm losing a lot of health. Oh, that came up quickly. I was, I was, I was looking at my health. I was looking at the environment. I was not looking at the the treadmill beneath my feet, which is why there's a um, ladder over there. Okay, all right. So, let's see what it does with it. Notice the the color here. Like, we're stuck in this little chamber, and the color is so overwhelming. Oh, dear. I don't know if I can kill those guys with the crowbar. Uh, I'm gonna... So I'm trying to figure out if there's a way for me to get through here without killing these guys. Um, oh yeah, the lighting. So um, this isn't like a extremely long hallway, but it is kind of a significant little passageway that's all extremely red. Um, and the main thing that that's gonna do, unless red is a signal, and I haven't gotten a strong association with red, uh, except that you know it means doors are locked. Uh, and handles are interactable, but um, the main thing that this is going to do is that when we come out of this, it's going to cause um, cool colors, blues and greens, to pop a lot more 
than uh, than they normally would because our eyes adjust to the input that we're given, especially if you're watching this like in a dark room, um, on a full screen, on a big screen, uh, this much red, your, your eyes will adjust and start to um, uh, account for all of that red by making the image that you see cooler, making it look more green. Um, essentially, your your brain has its own white balancing that it does, um, and so when we pop out of here and all of a sudden we're in an area where there's this blue electricity, that blue electricity pops like way more than it normally would uh, because our eyes are adjusted to this like really warm red environment. Um, it's a it's a small effect that I don't think has a like really serious purpose, um, but it's uh, um, you know it, it it's an interesting effect. I've gotten the impression that I actually need to kill these guys and that um, it is possible for me to do it. I wasn't sure at first that it was even something that I could do. Uh, but there, look, I did it. It would have been handier if I had had those bullets before. Uh, and maybe I did have enough bullets, actually, to, to do it. Who knows? Um, these look an awful lot like dog crates. Like, uh, were these aliens being crated? Like, did these aliens not come through the breach when I opened up some kind of a horrible breach between worlds, but they actually, like, have been here for a while and, uh, we've kept them in crates? Also, like, okay, clearly there's a lot of electricity here. I assume that this fence is electrocuted, um, which I might be wrong about, but the game is strongly suggesting that. That looks like a door. I'm hesitant to even touch the door. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, because I'm afraid that um, it's also electrified. Now clearly, if I try to jump over here, I think I'll be able to do it, but I'll take some damage trying to do it. No, look at that. This is gonna go, is it, oh, really? Try this with a little bit more health, but not a lot more health. Uh, but yes, in fact, I, that must be what I was supposed to do. So it's a good thing that those dogs didn't kill me any more than they did, because, um, you know, unless there was some other way of getting through there that I did not see, uh, I feel like I pretty much had to take some damage. What the fuck are you? Holy shit! This is an amazing way to introduce a new creature. Especially one that looks as cool as this. Uh, right? Like, this is... Um, oh my god. Look at how asymmetrical it is! Like, it's got one big claw hand and another, like, weird stumpy hand, and then it's got a claw growing out of its chest. Like, it's, um, that looks super alien, which is great. Uh, let's try pressing this big red button that is probably going to set it free, and then it's gonna kill me. Nope, nope, not actually a button. Oh god, I hate leaving it behind. Do you... No, okay. 
I hate leaving things behind. Oh no, it's gonna make me do something. I'm looking for buttons to press. I don't see any, except for this one, obviously. Uh, which has a glass case over it? Yeah. So, he seemed to be firing some kind of a scary weapon at me before I killed him, which is terrifying. Uh, like, I don't need more aliens with more scary weapons. <laughs> yeah, so, like, it's becoming, th it's, this is making it extremely evident that, uh, that Black Mesa is aware of these aliens. Um, and if they haven't been experimenting on the aliens, which I think we've gotten suggestions that they have, um, certainly they were prepared for the event, um, or possibly, uh, they've been experimenting on different aliens and they were unprepared for the event, but it's, uh, like, there's some kind of weirdness going on where this was not a complete surprise. Um... Jesus, am I, what's, it's, I mean, this seems like perfectly created, too, where they can't get out, which is kind of awesome. Um, like, that's a nice use of uh, the, the physical properties of the objects in the level. Um, that looks like a button that I'm going to press, and it's going to make everything go down. Yeah, look at this. Oh! Oh, it's doing something weird. What is it? What is it doing? Is it going to electrocute them? Is it going to Whoa! Jesus, look at all of the experimentation we are doing on Ah, shit. I hate using all of my ammo. But now at least I have one of these guns. So there's that. All right, all right. Oh, and there's more health. Uh, if I need Hey, it's no good up there, it's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. I'm what about you? Sure there's a few scientists hiding somewhere in the labs. Maybe with both scientists. of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out. Okay. So Let's I gotta get the hell out of here. I gotta take you with me, huh? We're gonna do more this of this. A lot bigger than I thought. This place is a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger than I thought too. No! Oh, don't do that! No! Come here! Oh, Jesus! Are you kidding me? Really? Come! Oh! Dude, what is wrong with you? Don't, ah. Oh. He's terrible. Oh my God, all right. I'm going, I'm going back for health because I have no health, but uh, that scientist, man, like what a suicide scientist or, or you know, guard guy. Maybe with both of us looking, it won't take that long. God damn it. That was lousy. I hear comms. Uh, was there... Oh, there's an energy thing down there. I kind of desperately need that. Oh, 
we're good. There's a lot of them, uh, or a lot of energy. A lot of a lot of those energies that I just pulled out of that thing. There's a high charge. All right, I can't go that way. Uh, mm hmm. That looks like a terrifying experiment. Right? Is this the part where they're using head crabs to make zombies? That's what this is, right? I'm gonna get health first. Um, and then we're gonna see if this machine works the same way that the other machines worked. Maybe I need to open up. See if guards are on their way, but it doesn't seem like it. I can just shoot these guys through the bars. I mean, honestly, I probably don't need to even do this, do I? Did I just get the weapon that I wanted? I'm terrified that the doors are going to close behind me. But no, of course that's not going to happen. The game would not allow that. Uh, what is? What did I just get there? What the? F did I put it away? Jesus Christ! Do not want that. All right. Wait. Oh, this is a toggle. Oh, I thought it was something I had to hold. C come in here. That's not going to happen, is it? I don't know why they had, um, they seem to have a harder time seeing me, which was weird. Okay. Uh, but was kind of fun because I could, I was like leading them around a little bit. Like that kind of engagement I enjoy. Um, this is the first T intersection that I've seen in a while. Uh, and in this type of like corridor, it's, it's very reminiscent of the, oh God. What on earth did it fire at me that did not do nearly as much damage as I feel like it should have? Is there still a giant monster out there? No, they killed the giant monster. Good. Good, I like when they do that. Um, that's kind of, that feels kind of remarkable actually. Like, I, yes, thank you suit. Um, a game of this age to have multiple factions that um, interact in that kind of a way, um, I mean, you know, we, like, The Last of Us uh, didn't introduce multi-faction multi, multi -faction combat until the DLC. 
Uh, so that's still something that we kind of struggle with um, in terms of designing fights and designing AIs that are going to react meaningfully with one another. Um, I guess that's not universally true. I mean, like, um, there are plenty of games that do do that. Um, but it's not universal, I guess is what I'm saying. And uh, to have it so extensively used in a game this old is, is pretty cool. Okay, explosive crates. Why'd that guy... <sighs> he confused me by running away. Uh, but then he came back and he shot me, so there's, there's that. I guess tactically that worked. I hear a scientist. I am trying to find a scientist and I hear one. God damn it. You crazy sons of bitches. Your experiments getting out of hand. What have you done? Oh yeah, no, totally fight each other. Why did I even run down there? This is my favorite part of the game, is standing on the far side of a corner listening to a firefight happen. I actually legitimately enjoy that. Uh, this probably drives some of you crazy. Oh! Oh, no weapon, no. Oh, shit. Got it. Ah. Uh. Ammo management is important. Oh, interesting. Oh, I just turned something on. Like, like actually, really. Okay, I still have, I have like half of my health. I'm gonna keep going. What just happened? I just got some kind of an experimental prototype weapon that can overcharge and kill me. That's super exciting. Uh. I'm just turning on lasers left and right. <laughs> the game is expressing how very excited it is for me that I have this experimental prototype weapon uh, that is definitely not going to blow up in my hands. Oh, it's rewarding me all over the place. So exciting, so exciting. Look at all of this stuff. I get lasers, I get prototype weapons, I get health packs. Uh, I'm totally gonna find myself a scientist around here somewhere. Okay. So I just, I think I just depleted it entirely. Which is probably what I get for trying not to overcharge it. Uh, I don't know where I get more uh, experimental prototype ammo. Wait, do I even have this gun? Huh. 
I assume this is some kind of an explosive that I can use, but I don't know how it works. Um, uh, weird, what happened to the, to the prototype? I really, like, oh yeah, I expect that to be part of my um, inventory, but it's, it does not appear to be that. I love this so much. I think I know what's going on here. Do not obstruct laser shield. And there's a crate, very, very conveniently placed, like right there. Uh, and I think this is a metal crate, which means that it's indestructible. Um, and I'm actually really curious. So I can't move it beyond that. Uh, area because it's um it's raised can i actually get it out of the room if i try real hard i could which is potentially dangerous but um because of this this little raised platform um that becomes a much come here it becomes a less uh likely thing for me to do uh because it, it sort of creates this fairly confined space that um I'm likely to see as the space that this box belongs in. All right, put it right there. I'm gonna line it up right where it should be. This is gonna go super well. Oh, good. Perfect. Look at how well that worked out for me. Almost as if it was designed that way. Uh, now, oh god, now I'm, I'm walking on this tiny little ledge, I guess? Is that what's happening? Do you have any idea what to do next? I hear a scientist. I really don't know. A scientist? Thank god. Get us out of here before those military drones figure out where we're hiding. We all have retinal scanner access. Escort us to the lobby, and we can get out of the lab. You'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. Peter switched it on, but I'm afraid he never made it back. Is that the surgical unit? With well, like... I think it's rather stimulating. The, the spinning so blades? Absolutely not. Uh, okay. So, there's crazy electricity. And there's spinning blades, of course. I can't just sh shut it down from here, can I? No, of course not. I'm I'm so disappointed in my experimental weapon that I really feel like I can't access anymore. Like, it doesn't show up on my weapon list. Oh! I did! Somehow I did stop this. Weird. I don't know how I did that. That's... Okay, can I take you guys one at a time? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna take you one at a time. We're gonna go back... I never suspected such things could be. What? This is just a hallway. This is like... This is where you work. Why, just look at those peculiar markings. What are you talking about? You're so weird, dude. Uh, oh god, I don't know if this is the right way. Stay Why here. Why are you leaving me here? Because I don't know if this is the right way. Oh yeah, okay. This is nothing. 
Fine. You won't even know I'm here. I doubt that. I still... I, um, I'm slowing you down, am I? No, I just... I need your eyes. There. This is the right place. This is where I need to go, which is just right in here. Perfect, okay, good. I'm gonna fetch my scientist friend. With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. I am also a scientist. I, I feel a little insulted by that. That's out, right? Yeah, you're gonna do your thing. Do your thing. Do your well, thing. I'll let you out, but I'm warning you, it's hell out there. It's completely under military control. You'll have to sneak and fight your way from one end to the other, and I don't expect you'll meet many of our peers along the way. But if you do survive and somehow make it across the base, you'll end up at the Lambda Complex, where the rest of the science team has taken shelter. I wouldn't venture there myself, but I will let them know that you are coming. How are you going to do that? Like, via radio? Don't, don't do that. The military's out there. I don't want them to know that I'm coming. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These scientists. I like that little airlock thing. Okay, you do that. You stay. Whoops. That was probably overkill. Oh shit. I refuse to go another step. I'm going to stay. Nobody's asking me to go another step. Ah, Jesus, I thought There we go, all right <laughs> You you do what you got to do scientists All the useful stuff I'm getting here. All right. <sighs> hmm. I don't know what to say. Um, so it seems like kind of a crapshoot when uh, crates are going to have valuable stuff in them. Um, I don't think that they all have like immensely valuable things. Um, but I, uh, I definitely. There's something about this right here, maybe because it's the start of a new section. I can still hear the scientist. Um, maybe because it's right before this big door. There was something that, that seemed very, um, that stood out especially to me about those crates that were right there uh, that made me suspect that I was going to get good stuff if I broke them. And indeed, I got energy, which is um, near the top of my list. Especially now, now that I have plenty of guns again, um, energy is the thing that I really want. Um, unless I had ammo for that super weapon that I just, I don't have a super weapon anymore. It's so weird. Okay. Um, I am gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save like a good Gordon Freeman. Um, I'm going to take a short break here, and then I'm going to go see what's on the other side of that door. Uh, sounds like there's a lot of military stuff between me and Lambda Section. Seems like Lambda Section is still pretty far away, but we will see. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can get there. 
um, I will be back in just a minute.